brothers and sisters, I invite you to reflect with me on our today's readings, Monday, second week of Advent. Repent and you will receive Jesus' healing. In today's readings, the message is calling us to repent so as to receive our healing from Jesus. Sin has always damaged and blocked the grace and mass of God in the history of mankind. God wills that man is wholly saved both body and soul, spiritual and physical. And in today's first reading, Isaiah prophesied to the Israelites in the exile and he assures them that the coming of the Lord's salvation to his people will bring healing. The blind will see, the lame walk, and all other deformities will be healed. And he will do great wonders and miracles. However, they are to repent from their sins. God wants and wills that man should have both health of mind, soul, and body. We are called to repent, be holy and blameless, to receive his gifts of healing and salvation. In our gospel today, Jesus heals the paralytic due to the faith of his friends who couldn't find the way in to bring him before Jesus and went upon the roof and removed the tires and let him down into the midst of Jesus. In the attitude of those who want their friend to be cured, we can see how resourceful human beings can be when it comes to getting what we really want. What the four men wanted was something that was essentially good, that their friend would be cured. Brothers and sisters, let us always be intercessors, helpers, human life promoters in our Christian living. That we help our brothers who are in need. That we help our sisters who have different challenges, problems in our today's world. That they may too receive this healing. We should always help our fellow brothers and sisters to attain healing from our prayers, fasting, charitable works. Our Lord wants a complete cure for us. He wills that all be saved wholly. He began with the forgiveness of sins of a paralytic. He didn't first begin the physical body, but he began forgiving sins of the paralytic. My sins, your sins, are always a deepest sickness, disability to reach Christian maturity. Often, we don't see that we need both spiritual and physical healings. Our prayers and our our, our interests are materialistic, physical, that we forget our spiritual need. But the Lord really knows what we really need in our lives. And we run to Jesus for healing. We should always go for full recovery, both physical and spiritual. We should always go to encounter the Lord in the sacrament of penance so that we may receive this spiritual healing too. We pray that we always repent our sins so as to receive this full recovery from Jesus. Let us get rid of our impediments like the roof which prevent us from seeing Jesus. We should always remove the tiles of lack of faith and all 
all other obstacles in our lives that we may be able to receive healing like the way the four men got healing for their friend, the paralytic. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit.